the caste system. If you only know one thing about Hinduism, this is probably it. If you know only one thing about Hinduism, and this is probably it. What does that tell you? If you want to divorce... By the way, guys, I need to keep highlighting our member comments. I keep forgetting to do that sometimes, right? So if you're a member, I'm supposed to highlight your comments unless... Make sure you tag Aces Republic so I, I, I can highlight that, okay? But guys, it what does that mean? If if you know, That means that caste system, casteism, and Hinduism are inseparable. Did I say that? Yes. There, so do not. That's something part that is a part of your religion that you know that's wrong and you know it's disgusting and you know that it's a part of your religion. Hey, Susanna is here. Susanna is saying casteism is one of the most evil inventions of mankind, yes, and it's by Hinduism. So, thanks for yoga, but if casteism, mm, I mean, if we have to give up yoga to also get rid of caste system, I think we should get rid of yoga. Um, I think it's a fair trade, right? If we lose yoga, but we also lose the caste system, I think the net result is positive. Uh, Ronnie is saying, when are you dis well, when are you desecrating Sikh holy books? How do you do that? You cannot get a hold of, they guard that crap. They have, their Sikh holy books are like living things. Right? So they have bodyguards for it. What do you want me to do? Go steal their property? I can't do that. How do you get Sikhs in India try to bring a law that would have sent people to uh, to prison for 25 years for desecrating their holy book? Okay. I don't... I will if I get my hands on one of their holy books. But I don't think I could get my hands on one of their holy books. And also, I have to own it. I cannot steal someone else's property. Okay? I have to legally be able to own one of their holy books. And only then I will desecrate it. It has to be my property. I cannot destroy other people's property. Okay. People see it as an oppressive system that locks people in place based on their birth. And for a huge part of history, that's what it's been, unfortunately. Let's do a quick explanation of what the caste system is. In Hinduism, there are four castes or classes that you can be born into. There's the Brahmin, the priest, the Kshatriyas, the warriors, the Vishas, the traders, and the Shudras the manual laborers. Hey, there's one more outcast. The outcast is below it. The Dalits, I mean, these are the, the these are the caste, and then there's the outcast. The main basis for the caste system can be found in the Bhagavad Gita and the Rig Veda. Wait, Veda. is it not going to say that this is like she, the parts of the God's body, like this is the head and this is the feet? It's not going to say that? Okay. The basis for the caste system can be found in the Bhagavad Gita and the Rig Veda. Krishna says in the Gita, I have created a fourfold system in order to distinguish among one's qualities and functions. Mm. The Rig Veda also refers to the four castes. This is so bad, guys. This is basically heritage deciding your role and your worth in society. Ask. It says too much emphasis on blood. Um, and Gibson is saying Hinduism, Hinduism is castes, casteism. Plus most as oh, what is this asana 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 oh, is in yogas oh asanas asanas in yogas are imported from gymnastics. You mean from the gymnastics as in from the Greeks? What is that? Hold on. Is it? No. No, I don't think so. I mean, the gym. What they did in the gyms, the Greeks said was different. Maybe I don't know. And the Greeks wait. The, the Greeks came like thousands of years later, but I don't know when the yoga was made by the Hindus. Uh, Ronnie. Oh, by the way, thank you so much for the four hundred rupee super chat. Four hundred rupee super chat. Thank you so much, guys. It warms my heart to get like support from India. It's so nice. Thank you, guys. Uh, Ronnie is saying buy their holy book from Amazon and then you can desecrate it. Desecrate images of Sikh gurus. Um, oh, okay, I could do that. That would be cheap to do. I could print it. Sikh guru. Sikhs in Canada will be chasing. Hey, I don't want to be chased like that. Okay, I'll do Sikh gurus. Can I just like print their? 
text on paper and just desecrate that? Humans were created from parts of the god Purusha, the Brahmin from his face, the Kshatriya from his arms, the Vaisha, his thighs. Oh yeah, yeah, see this is it, this is what I was talking about. It's the, uh, the caste system is based on the body. Created from parts of the god Purusha, Purusha. the Brahmin from his face, the Kshatriya from his arms, the Vaisha, his thighs, and the Shudra, his feet. <laughs> this system was supposed to assign people functions based on their abilities, not their birth. Oh. If someone had the qualities of a brand. Oh, do you doing apolog? Okay, wait. This is apologism. Ap doing apologetics. Vaisha, they could fill those wait, roles go back. based on their abilities. Ba if guys, woof, this is excusing the caste system. So you think this system was supposed to assign people function based on their abilities, not birth? Is that real? Is that true? Is that true? Because what we read earlier was. Be some that dude being told that he belongs to the warrior class warrior class as in assigned by birth so but this is saying it's based on abilities so this this view of it it will make the caste system completely different than what we are familiar with is this is this true okay sajib is saying yes it is true and mecca is saying no, it is propaganda. Uh, gravi, gravi. Okay, guys, the people that didn't like this video all of a sudden like this video. Uh, gravi, graviton is saying yes. A moonum is saying it's false. It's birth based. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna watch the whole video. Okay, it was at first. Okay, so RT is saying it was at first. Caste system is good. Aces Republic. Okay, no, it's by birth. Wow, look at the disagreements that we have in the live chat. Yes, people are saying yes, yes. Oh, Carton is saying supposed to not actually because I was saying support, so it's birth based. Well, wow. it's birth is by birth. It was based on it was based by unabilities. It's not burned by Rama Sita. Okay, so that's something about something that we said earlier. It was based on abilities. Wow, look at this. So many people disagree. Like if you're physically fit, you can join the military. Hmm. Wow, you guys are split. You guys are disagreeing on this. Yes, it is true, but it was changed afterwards, so now it's birth. Okay, so it seemed like it seemed based on, it seemed like originally the caste system was not based on heritage or blood, not based on birth, but eventually it turned into being based on heritage. So here, Katie saying the caste system is codified into the major Hindu books, and it can be easily proved that the castes are by birth because quality is based on birth due to karma of previous life okay katie but it seems like people are suggesting that that's what eventually it turned to in hinduism but the original thought was not that this is what i'm getting at right now uh, at the end of this video you will realize that this video is true. yeah yeah you guys say that about everything you don't like not their birth if someone had the qualities of a brahman or a vaisha they could fill those roles hmm. The Gita didn't restrict movement among castes, and the caste system functioned as intended for a while, until a document known as the Laws of Manu came about around the 5th century BC. Oof, okay. So this change is old enough for this to be considered a major part of Hinduism. So the caste system originally was not as bad in Hinduism, but this change is codified. Is this accurate to say? This change is codified enough in Hinduism for us to consider caste system as part of Hinduism. Popularly referred to as the Manu Shmirti, they created hard rules for. I like how a lot of people that didn't like this video because they thought it's, not, it's anti, it's not representing Hinduism accurately, now all of a sudden like it because it's defending. Hindu life. Two rules presented in it contributed to the way the Wait, Karatan is saying the untouchables prove the birth based system. Uh, maybe the video will talk about that. Okay, let's see. Past system turned out. Man no, contributed. This, okay, but guys, it's not saying it's not by. Ba the video is not saying that this is not based on birth. The video is saying originally it was not based on birth and then it turned into base, being based on birth.
to the way the caste system turned out. Manu states that the Brahmin were the lords of all castes, and he forbid moving among the castes. The caste you were born into was now the caste you're stuck in. If you give humans a hierarchy, they'll exploit it, and things will go sour pretty quickly. Mm. As time passed, Hindus began thinking in terms of upper and lower castes. Soon, cleaning toilets, tanning leather, and dealing with meat products were thought to be impure. The people doing those jobs became untouchables. The lowest of the low, a people without caste. And the rest is history. The modern world has brought many... See, so the video... Here, guys, this video is not, it does a very good job at not being biased, right? Oh, so Sajib is saying the laws of Manu or Manu Smir is like Quran for Hindus. It's disgusting. Okay. He changes though. Now Hindus mix... Oh, we have an untouchable here. I am a Shudra, so-called untouchable. There are holes in this video. Yes, of course, it's, a, it's, 70, it's an 18-minute video. Of course, it's going to have holes in this video. Like, what do you, the, at the very beginning of this video, I said, like, if I wanted to be completely accurate, this would be like a three-hour animation video. Uh, objective reality saying, in my village, there are like 40 casts, not four, like fishermen and goat herders. My family name is represented in my professions yeah but that's not what this is that that's not what this caste system is referring to uh kt that's not that's we know the the caste system in for hinduism is about the four castes uh, katie saying no caste was always uh okay so katie is saying caste was always by birth in indian subcontinent the lower caste were originally indian natives and the brahmins were the aryans and then it continues uh, genetics can prove that even today the Brahmins have the most uh, concentrated Aryan DNA from the steps, 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 steps. Okay, I don't know. Guys, I do not know if any of this is true. This is just a live chat, so take it with a grain of salt, okay? Freely while working together in the same businesses, attending the same schools, and generally just living together. But when it comes to marriage, many Hindus still stick to their own caste. But this too is changing, and on Hindu dating websites, you can actually see people list a non-preference for caste. It'll say, "Hey, that's oh wow, that's very interesting, right?" So it used to be like you have to marry within your okay, same business. It's, okay, hold on, let's read this. This is very important. Without caste, and the rest is history. The modern world has brought many changes, though. Now Hindus mix freely while working together in the same businesses, attending the same schools, and generally just living together. But is that true? Like, okay, a lot of people keep telling me that the caste system is over in India, and a lot of people saying, no, it's not true, it's still a major problem. It seems like the truth is somewhere in the middle, but you guys tell me. Okay, so, but when it comes to marriage, many Hindus still stick to their own caste. When it comes to marriage, many Hindus still stick to their own caste. But this too is changing, and on Hindu dating websites, you can actually see people list a non-preference for caste. It'll say, caste no bar. Wait, so from all of these ads, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, um, so around, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we have around like 25 ads, and only th two of them say they don't care about caste. The rest have ca are caste specific. So two out of 25 ads are saying, well, wait, is that, is that, am I reading this right? I have no idea. So those are the basics of Hinduism. It isn't even close to covering everything. One video simply can't do it. Hinduism is too diverse, too deep, and means too many different things to different people. But, yeah, but you also said they have the same core beliefs. Learning even the basics of this fascinating and ancient religion mm. gives us an insight into the worldview of over a billion people. Yeah. And I hope you enjoyed it. You can find all... Yeah, guys, make sure you check this channel. It does very good videos. And I'm going to do the Zoroastrianism. I'm going to do from the same channel. Okay? I'm going to do from the same channel. Guys, can you tell me in the live chat what uh, what do you think about the situation of caste system right now in India? How bad is it? Uh, Kratin is saying the video is excusing it. Hindus definitely prefer same caste marriage, and there's a lot of discrimination. Yep, yep, I know. Yeah, we we covered the news on that on 
uh, Exodus Republic. Dark is saying if it was ability based, there would be no cast in ten generations. No, so the video does not say the video didn't say it's no that is not ability based. The video was saying that no, sorry, the video was not saying it's ability based. The video is saying it is based on birth, but originally it was something else. That's what the video was suggesting. And I and you got some of you guys are disagreeing with that. KG is saying cats are still living segregated, segregated in rural areas, and there are cats still mostly involved in manual work, and nobody other than Brahmins can be a priest. Uh, AJ is reminding everybody to like and subscribe. Thank you, AJ. Uh, Dalit, dear Armin, please raise more voice for Dalits. I'll try. Uh, yeah. We do. We cover. Okay, guys. Whenever there's something bad happens to Dalit because they're Dalits in India, Susanna is on top of that. She knows. She cut. She's she, Susanna, and also another person that I cannot mention is helping us, uh, making sure that we cover that news. Okay, so we are we are trying to. It's not me. It's my our entire atheist republic team is trying to, you know, raise the you know be make the Dalit voice a little louder. Hinduism is re is a real definition of discrimination. Oof. Okay, that was like. Okay, and let me see what else we have here. Just gonna do a few more comments and then we go. Caste system of slavery. Almost all manual scavengers, even today, belong to the manual scavenging caste. I don't know what that is referring to. Amiba is saying the word. Okay, guys, Amiba is on Twitch, so make sure you guys follow us on Twitch as well. Link is in the description. Uh, the word Shudra is used in the videos only once, hence many scholars think it was added later. Mm, wow, that's very specific. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm going to... Only a small portion of population marries intercast. Hmm, that's sad. Only a small portion. Okay. Guys, I don't. By the way, this is just a live chat. I'm just reading a lot of this. A lot of the live chat is from India right now. So, but the, again, take these with a grain of salt. Okay, be skeptical about everything you're reading. Katie saying, if it was by birth, the Rig Veda would not have said that which castes were born from which part of the god. Hey, that's actually whoa, Katie. Very, very good point. Why, if it originally was not by birth, why was it? Why did it mention that they were born from this? They were, said they were born from this part of the god. Very good point, Katie. Um, we are also thought in school about caste system and how it is wrong. So maybe a little progress. Yes, yes. I know there has been progress. It, it's true that there has been progress, but it's also very saying that it's very bad right now and that there has been a lot of progress. These two are not mutually exclusive. These two can be true at the same time. Yes, there has been a lot of progress, and things are still not good at all. Okay, these two these two statements do not contradict each other. Simple logic. A lot of people don't get it. Caste system is decreasing only in rural rural areas, and illiterate follow it. All right, Katie saying if okay, I don't. You're talking to me or more Ted skeptic. So okay, I'm gonna leave soon, guys. Uh, I'm just going to focus on here. Uh, caste system is almost gone, but it still exists in a few rural areas of India. Funny thing, actually, Islam is uniting Hindus, in, um, Hindu, uh, uniting Hindus, India, and making the caste system disappear. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, that's not a good way to make the caste system disappear. You should find better excuses. Everyone here better subscribe. 